Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. Let's talk about liberty. So, uh, <clears throat> today is Friday the 12th. I'll try to get this up today here. But uh, yesterday, day before, one of the two, uh, the House passed two gun control bills. Uh, one is about universal background checks. The other is basically about expanding uh, the time it takes to do a background check at an FFL so that they can hold on to your gun longer and you don't get it. Um, that's the short gist of them. I'm sure there are other videos that will detail those bills better than I will right now, because that's not what we're gonna talk about. So those two garbage bills passed. And then at the same time, uh, this clip rolled into my Twitter feed where President Biden says this. I need you. I need every American to do their part. And that's not hyperbole. I need you. I need you to get vaccinated when it's your turn and when you can find an opportunity. And to help your family, your friends, your neighbors get vaccinated as well. Because here's the point. If we do all this, if we do our part, if we do this together, by July the 4th, there's a good chance you, your families and friends, will be able to get together in your backyard or in your neighborhood and have a cookout and a barbecue and celebrate Independence Day. That doesn't mean large events with lots of people together, but it does mean small groups will be able to get together. After this long, hard year, that will make this Independence Day something truly special where we not only mark our independence as a nation but we begin to mark our independence from this virus but to get there we can't let our guard down this fight is far from order from over as i told the woman in pennsylvania i'll tell you the truth on july 4th with your loved ones is the goal okay so Pay attention here. We live in a time where at least an entire political party, the Democrats, plus some Republicans, plus a lot of Americans, do not believe that rights come from God or are inherent to hum being a human, right? That was the belief that came out of the Enlightenment. You have inherent rights being a human. You, you are given rights because you are human by the Creator, right? That, that's, that's been the, the thought for the past couple hundred years. And we now live in a time in America where we have abandoned that principle. The, the, the leading political figures in this country, like I said, the entire Democratic Party doesn't believe that. Um, the, the president obviously doesn't believe that. The people who passed these gun control bills and the eight Republicans who voted for them don't believe that. Uh, they believe that rights are, are not a immovable, inherent thing, but rather something that we just kind of agree on that are a good idea. And if we don't like it, well, we can change it. I mean, listen to what the president says there. He says, you know, if you're good, then I will allow you to get together, not in big groups, but in small groups, and you can get together and celebrate Independence Day. Now, if that isn't the height of irony, I don't, I don't, it's almost like someone who wrote that speech was, was secretly trying to expose what, what stupidity and garbage this is, right? Uh, but that's what he's saying. If you're good, I will allow you, me, the president, I will give you the, the opportunity, the privilege to be able to gather with, with small groups. Never mind the fact that the most sacred right that we have in this country is the right to free speech, the right to gather in small groups. That, that's part of the First Amendment. The right to a free press. They've murdered themselves on that one, huh? Uh, and the right to religion, right? You can worship what any God you want. That's the First Amendment. That is the most core of, of sacred values that we have in this country and our most sacred right. The second one, also very important, is the right to keep and bear arms. And, and they, they've done a fantastic job of violating both of those in the past couple days. So again, while gun control is bad, uh, the government saying who you can and can't have at your own house to have a barbecue is really bad. Much, much worse, actually. Uh, that's why we have guns, is to protect those small gatherings. Different video, different talk. What I really want to drive home here is that we live in this strange time where America has abandoned its principle that we have rights, and that's what the country was built on. 
People have rights. The government is restrained in what it's allowed to do. That is no longer a belief. The belief now is that you're a subject to the crown. You can do what the government allows you to do. They're going to keep you safe. They're going to take care of you. They're going to give you money. They're going to give you food. They, they will be your God and they demand your obedience. This is nothing new. Uh, humans have been worshiping pagan gods for thousands of years. Uh, and, and the relationship is always, I work for you and you bless me. That's always the relationship with an idol. Every time. I work for you and you bless me. And, and, and that's what this is. This is, we will do what the government says. We will, be, we will be kind to them. We will be good little subjects and good little serfs. And then they will bless us and allow us to, you know, go to work sometimes and get money from them and gather with our friends if we want. That, that's what this is. And there are people who believe that's okay. Now, I say it in a pretty extreme way, and you could say, no, Dylan, that's ridiculous. I don't believe that. But when push comes to shove, you don't believe that restaurants have the right to serve to open their doors. You, you don't believe that people have the right to walk around without a mask. And that's the problem. You think that rights are not this immovable, inherent, set in stone thing. And the government needs to rotate around them. Rather, the government is at the center, and what they decide, including your liberties, rotates around it. And that's the problem. That's where we're at. So I don't know how you maintain a country when the founding principle of liberty, which was the entire reason the, the country was created, it was the entire founding basis for the nation, when that is gone... When now the thought is, no, we need to do what the government says, how do you, how do you maintain an, a nation like that? I don't, I don't know. I don't know how a nation like that survives. I don't think it does. I, I don't think it does. And now they want to threaten you with violence if you don't do what they say, right? Just like any good overblown government that's too big for its britches, they're going to force you to do what they want. What's that? You, you want to borrow a gun to your friend? Uh, no, that's a felony now. You can't do that. Right? And, and, and oh, what, you want to have some people over for the 4th of July? Oh, can't do that either. Sorry, that's not allowed. You want to celebrate your liberty by expressing your liberty? That's going to be a no. This is only going to get worse. The people who don't think you have rights aren't going to change their minds. They're going to continue to pass laws and stuff people in boxcars until it turns out that in 50 years they were on the wrong side of history. They don't have a problem doing that. They think they have a moral imperative to do that. They think it's their moral obligation and duty to rip your rights away from you. They think they're the good guys. Nobody, there's a C.S. Lewis quote, something to the effect of like, nobody ever does evil for evil's sake, right? Nobody ever comes out and says, we're gonna do some evil, evil stuff today, you know, you wanna come along. It's always under the guise of, no, we're the good guys. We're doing good things. I guarantee you uh, people who are stuffing people in boxcars and sending them into gas chambers thought they were the good guys. I hope you're ready to do brave deeds because you're going to need to.